everybody, this is Cindy Crum coming to you from SES Toronto. I'm here with Rayanne Langdon, who just spoke on the Twitter panel. Say hello, Rayanne. Hey, Internet. <laughs> that was great. Okay. So we just got off the Twitter panel, and Rayanne is coming to us from FreshBooks, and she gave us a really fresh perspective on how, uh, how they've been using Twitter to really reach out and, as she said, show their love uh, to their clients and their customers and stuff like that. So, Rayanne, what were the key takeaways from your presentation? What did you want people to, to go away and do right away? Well, I'm pretty proud of this because a couple of people have come up to me and said this was my, my quote of the day takeaway is give as much as you take or give even more than what you take. So you have great content, but you can also interact with people and, and be real and present extraordinary experiences and just show your customers that you love them. Okay, so you gave some really good stories on the panel today, and I was jealous. I was like, ooh, maybe I should go follow FreshBooks and say that I had a bad day or something like that. <laughs> so tell us, tell us some of those stories. The two ones uh, that you talked about were flowers and plates. So give us those, the rundown. Sure. Uh, one woman, her Twitter name is Shell Pixie, and we've totally made her internet famous now. She loves this. Uh, she's a VA. She tweeted that she had been stood up for a date and that she didn't appreciate it, of course. So we responded by saying, hey, we'd never do that to you. And then the next day, she received a bouquet of flowers at her house with a note just telling her that we love her and we would never stand her up. So she wrote a great blog post about it, and it's been talked about for years now, so we're really proud of that. And recently, a new user signed up and just said, hey, you guys are amazing, I love everything you're doing, but if all, if all you did was send me some swag or a t-shirt, you'd hit a home run. And we said, you know what, we're going for the Grand Slam. And I went out shopping and I had noticed on his Twitter stream that he was looking for a new house for his, his wife and his baby and himself, of course. So I found these great organic plates and I said, hey, this would be a great addition to a new house. Sent it in a care package with some swag, some t-shirts, a personalized note just thanking him and again, wrote a great blog post about it and people retweeted it and talk about it and yeah, it just showed that we actually care about people as individuals. So, so that's great. So FreshBooks is getting a lot of buzz out of this. And are you getting a lot of clients out of this? Is it panning out or is it just kind of goodwill? Uh, ever since we got more involved on Twitter, we over the past few years, we've been on Twitter for about a year and a half or so. I mean, there's no direct tracking to say, oh, because of Twitter, we have Bam, like three new paying customers for this month, but we've been steadily increasing. We now have 800,000 users worldwide. Um, a, a year ago, or we had uh, 600,000. So just in two, or yeah, just in a couple of years, or just in a year, we have 200,000 customers. So it's just growing, and Twitter is just part of it. Twitter is word of mouth, so it gets the word out there, and word of mouth is the reason we grow every day. Okay, so uh, tell us, how can people find you on Twitter? How can people find FreshBooks on Twitter? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm on Twitter as at R Langdon, and FreshBooks is on Twitter as at FreshBooks. Okay, fantastic. Thanks for <laughs> being on the panel. Thanks for doing our interview, and I'll see you later. Uh, this is Cindy Crum coming to you from SES Toronto.